team Dynamite the Explosive Man. I'm the man on the sticks, and we're playing Magic Duels. All right, we're gonna put a couple in this episode if we have a chance. I've made a new deck called Blue Magic, and apparently is absolutely terrible. <laughs> but we're gonna take it in a solo battle. And you know what? You know what? We're we're not little girls. We're big men here. We're big, burly, strong men, similar to this human Thanos that we have here ahead of us. I can't tell if he is wearing a cloak or if he just has a really long white mullet in the back. Either way, I'm getting real sick of your, your stuff here, Magic the Gathering. Alright, so we won our last match. This deck, all blue, man. I don't, like, even know. I made this one pretty quick, too. But we're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna stick with our hand that we have, because I'm confident that this hand is the winning hand that will win us the game. Oh, lifelink and bomb. Exile this card from your graveyard. Create a token that is a copy of it, except a white zombie cat with no mana cost. Okay, that is a pretty cool card. I like that. He's got mummy kits. He's got mummy cats, dude. We we should have been ready for the mummy cats. Did not know. All right. We need a couple more mana and we can get some of our other good stuff out. What are you casting? Just to land? Alright, we know what that does. That's going to give us Mummy Cats 2-2. Two, two. Astronaut Tinker, as long as you control the artifact, you can be okay. Alright, yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, now it told me that this deck was super slow, but I put a ton of two cast, cast creatures in here. So I don't really know how that's the case. But I mean, I guess we're going to find out here. Alright, you got me, bro. You got me. Congratulations. Second turn, you're doing big dams. Big damsel in distress. We're gonna cast that. It's just a it's just a little equipment. It's your turn, fam. We'll read it real quick. Oh, for each other creature you control. Not too shabby. Alright, give your, your mummy cats another two two. We're gonna be taking another four damage this turn. Hopefully that's it. Alright. Thank God for the mummy cats and the guys who give them more damage. You know? Like, if it wasn't for them in on this sweet earth. Uh, has flying as long as you control an artifact or I can put a 2-2 out that does not let his creature untap. I think I'm gonna cast a guy that has flying and can kill stuff. This is my, I finally have some defense. All right, keeping you at bay. Keeping you at bay, finally. Oh, you're just gonna gain a whole bunch of life, huh? That's what's hot in the streets? That's what the kids are doing out here nowadays. Um. Uh, oh, he, he also got a, a creature. It's a zombie. Alright, what we're going to do is we're going to do this because I need mana bad. Alright, a little bit of mana goes a long way. Uh, that one goes into my hand. This one goes on top of my library. Alright, I needed that land though. I'm glad I did that because I had a bunch of bull crap coming and that's not going to be useful. Alright. No, we're going to we're gonna hold off. I'm going to actually equip this to my boy though. It does nothing right now, but he's going to slowly get stronger as soon as I start getting some creatures out. Okay, well. We're definitely gonna block. These are the same thing, huh? We're definitely gonna block one of your, your tutus. He's gonna make it stronger immediately, or no, nothing. Alright. But I am uh, 
very low on HP now. <laughs> Alright, so. When the champion is three is hooking onto the battlefield. This is probably my best bet because it gives me the most defense. I think that was good. Now we ate, now it's three on three, buddy boy. Watch your mouth. I thought this thing gave my creature whenever equipped creature attacks alone, it gets plus one, plus one. Oh. All right, all right. I gotta learn my cards too. That would be helpful. Did you just bring what you bring back? What is that? Dude, shut up. What is this thing? It's a 3 3 flyer that does nothing essentially. Oh! I can sacrifice a creature to pay. Alright, so stop, stop it. Stop it right now. So if I sacrifice a creature with a casting cost of four, then I can pay two mana to get this boy out. So let's do that. Let's sacrifice that. Perfect. Perfect harmony. This is what I need. Then we cast my boy the kitty and we tap that thing. And then we attack alone and he gets plus one plus one for every creature. All right, we're starting to put a dent in him. This is what I was hoping to do, is finally start putting a dent into his life total. He's been over here gaining HP for a long time. You know what? I'm not, I'm not worried about that. We're going to kill your kitty, and we're going to kill this man too. Exile target creature that blocked or was blocked by a zombie this turn. Cute. Real cute. Real, real cute. Real cute. Uh, what does this guy do? Can block an additional creature each combat. Alright, cool. Good to know. Good to know. You're just gonna keep casting stuff, huh? Just... He embalmed him, dude. He got embalmed. Tap target creature. I don't like that at all. Alright, man. It's starting to not look too good for us here. But we're going to make it look better. Oh my god, he can just tap whatever he wants. Um. Uh. I surely don't like that. We have... Five mana, that's enough to cast two things. So we're gonna cast this to tap this boy so that his abilities may never be used. We're gonna cast a bird. Two one flyer can only block flying boys. And then we're gonna, we gotta attack. We absolutely have to. All right, we're whittling them down. We're whittling them. We're bringing them lower. Every smack is a step in the right direction. All right, so he's attacking with everything. We're going to block his boom. We're going to block... The bird can only block that guy. We're going to kill that. We're going to kill that. Fair play. Dead. 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 Alive and dead. 
I'm fine with that. What do you got, fam? I know you got something else. You're embalming stuff. All right, he's embalming. That's cool. I'm fine with you embalming. As long as you realize that this thing will never see the light of day. All right, man. It's not <laughs> still not looking good, but you know what? We're hanging in there. We've done, he's done 11 damage to us, we've done 10 to him. So it's not that big of a difference, it's only that the game life is, is, is a little bit much. If he's wise, he'll only attack with, okay, he's gonna attack with everything. That's fine, we're gonna just block the 2-2, two, two, kill it, take the 4 damage. Yeah, you know, honestly, I'm not mad at this deck. I feel like if we had just gotten a few different cards, we'd be in a better a better place right now. Alright, so this is a 3-3 three, three flyer when it draw a card and discard a card. Alright, we'll do that. Draw a card. Get rid of Get rid of this thing, dude. It's not helping us right now. We're just gonna chill. We got enough flyers now. We got enough defense. If we can get something going, we don't have any problems. At the beginning of your LD, each opponent loses like evil to the number of tapped creatures you control. <laughs> what a D bag, dude. Don't show me that again. No. He put me on a timer. All right, I can sacrifice a creature to put this out for, it's eight minus five, which is three. This is three. I only have three land. <laughs> put you out. I'm actually going to... Ah! Alright, uh, see the thing is that he's not flying. So I guess, like, the smart thing to do would be to kill that. Uh, I don't know. All right, let's just continue. Let's just continue. Let's just continue. We we we're gonna we're gonna die. Um, let's attack you for this man. Are you just gonna take it? He's taking it. All right. That's the man we're gonna sacrifice right there. It's a flash card, so that means we can cast it at any point in time. Oh, great, good for you. All right, so we will block this man with this man. Uh, confirm block, stop timer. Pay the emerge cost. Sacrifice that boy. Get our man out. And then I don't get the block. I don't get the block because I confirmed my block. And then I take what? Two damage? Oh no. So we gotta do something this turn. I don't know if I see that happening. Uh, uh, this is three for one one and haste. This is three for what essentially would be one. All right, let's do it like this, and then equip this onto my man here, and then continue and then attack and then lose. <laughs> 
It's all good. It's all right. It's all right to have a good time because it's all right. So at the end of his next turn, we're gonna we're gonna take two damage regardless. Dang it! Honestly, if he had never gotten this this business out, I feel like we would have had him. Also, if I had done my blocking phase properly, yeah, just let that kill me, man. Dang it! Ah, uh, well, I think we're gonna play this deck again. But that's going to happen on the next episode. Thank you for joining me for this episode of TNT Dynamite Plays Magic the Gathering Duels. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, I'm out.